hey guys welcome back this is the update video on the 52 week challenge so um for the one that i just started in march i've made my second payment and um that's going strong so i just wanted to say hey to the ladies that are doing that one with me that would be um tb and at just want to say hey to you and for the new person that decided that they want to do it with their family at home what's up kp hopefully boss lady is doing it because this is something that she was supposed to start with me on january so i am doing it uh as of march i'm doing another one that started in january with my girl tf and i am doing another one that i started um in november no i did the one with TF in November and then I started another one in January so hopefully if you all are trying to save up for something especially if you have a problem saving this will kind of give you some motivation especially if you have a goal for it so I also want to talk to you about the five dollar challenge but I didn't do well with the five dollar challenge the five dollar challenge is basically every time five dollars crosses your hands as far as money when you get changed that you're supposed to put that five dollars up and save it that didn't work for me i actually was going to show you all how i had started the five dollar challenge but because i change out money so much and i receive a lot of fives that would be pretty much all of my pocket money i would have no pocket money so i'm going to try that again on a later date but there was a few things that i wanted to discuss with you really quickly before i go down the breakdown of the 52 week challenge and where we are or where we should be um uh, or some of the things that I was noticing for income tax time you know everybody plans out their income tax and they say oh no wait till my income tax check comes and this that and the other and then they just use it for bills and this that and the other I just want everybody to just start looking at their bills make a budget and start to see how do you spend like let's take three months spend the way you normally spend and see what does that equal out to be and then you can say okay well maybe I can cut something short here but when you get your income tax check, let your income tax check do something for you. If you have a mortgage, why don't you use your income tax check or at least a portion of it to help pay your mortgage down. But plan it out. That could be, don't say that your income tax check is only for your bills because your regular paycheck is your bills. I'm not saying it's not tight. We all have bills. But start to let your income tax check do some things that you wanted it to do. Maybe that's your family vacation. Maybe that is the beginning of your rainy day fund. Um, but let a portion of your check do something other than bills unless you're going to do it to benefit your house like let's say you're going to use that to pay down debt to reduce your debt to um, your income to debt ratio now if you're going to do something like that then that's fine but don't have it be where you got this nice income tax check and now um, it's all gone and you have nothing to show for it invest in yourself you're important so hopefully you know, if you sit down, what I started doing when I first started working, before I even would receive an income tax check, I would write down what I wanted to spend towards what. Some of that would definitely be for entertainment because I have to enjoy some of my money. But I use that to help get me out of debt, you know, school debt, car debt, whatever, just I used it, but I made sure I stuck with what I said I was going to stick to. So if you're saying, well, you know what, you want to go get yourself a car and you need down payment money, then make sure that you do what you say you're going to do. Let that money, which is your extra money, do something that your normal paycheck couldn't do. That was just my little sidebar. So hopefully some of you take advantage of that. Um, there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about. Find ways to do what you like to do um, as cheap as possible. So uh, if you see contests, like for the radio. I know this sounds crazy, but if you see them and they're doing a free trip or something where you might still have to pay the taxes on the trip, but the trip is free, why not enter it? What is it going to hurt you? As long as you don't have to pay to enter, what is it going to hurt you? And I'm saying this because in my family, we have actually won vacations. I have won a cruise. I have won a trip to um, uh, Jamaica. A trip to Mexico and someone else in the family want a trip to Hawaii so I'm just saying that those are things that I would not have been able to just take advantage of had I not put my name in for something and then I won and I was able to go on these vacations so I'm just saying there's little things that you can do if you like to go to the movies sign up for your movie card like Regal they have a movie card you sign up for that it's free 
every time when you go to the movies, let them swipe your card. If you know somebody else is going to the movies, let them swipe your card. Because with Regal, when you spend a certain amount through them, you can earn free movie tickets. If you got a lot of kids, that may come in handy someday. So I'm just saying, start thinking about things. If you have things that you know you need to get for your household that you're always going to get, start paying attention to when it's a sale, when it's a coupon. Do those type of things and it'll make a difference over time. It's not going to be right away, but it will make a difference and you'll start to have more money. So just a few little things. So I'm just saying if you can think of some other things that you could recommend to me or something that maybe I didn't talk about, just bring it up. I'd like that. Okay, so here is my update on the 52 week money challenge so for those of you who are keeping track and hopefully some of my family and friends are deciding that they want to go ahead and do this um, it is 52 weeks but I actually put the money up every two weeks rather than weekly so I do it based on the pay dates so I started doing it March 3rd and then I got paid again on March 17th, so then I started doing it on March 17th. So to refresh you, I am doing $53 a check. So where I last left off, it was $45, and then I put up another $53. So that put me down front to week 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, and Actually, it is $106 that I have put up now, but um, the check mark only goes down to $105, so it's just an extra dollar for the next, to next time. So, let's see, that's $20, $40, $60, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000